Hello everyone. Today I want to share with you a jewelry making supply haul and all the things that I'm going to be showing you in this one is actually all from the same place. And that place is an online shop and it's called jewelrymaker.com so what I'm going to do is just put a link in the description box so where you can go and have a look at it if you want to. And also what I just want to say if you're a new customer if you go to the website and you like what you see and you want to get something and if you're a new customer I'm going to put a code in the description box as well so after you've made your first order you'll receive £10 credit on your account that you can then spend on whatever. So that's a nice little extra bonus if you're going to go have a look anyway. But otherwise let's get cracking on the things that I'm going to show you. Now I want to start out with some of the gemstones that I got from there and some of the strands that I bought I bought for a specific purpose but some of them I just got because I saw them and I just fell for them completely straight away. And now these first strands are just that and they're probably some of my favourite stand strands that I've had for a long time. I saw them on the website and they look like this and I just fell for them completely and then when I received it I bought one strand first because um, I thought it looked really nice on the website. What this is, it's pyrite that's coated in copper so like a light copper, it's almost a bit rose gold so it looks like this, so they're kind of puffy squares with faceting on them so they're really beautiful and then when I received this strand it was just even nicer than I actually thought it would be so I kind of I already had some ideas of what I wanted to do with it um, I thought I would make a couple of rings, so like prong set rings so one for a ring where it sits like this and it's prong set and then also one where it sits more like a diamond shape like that so a couple of rings for that and then like a pendant also in a similar type where you maybe use just one or two for a pendant but then when I received it and obviously was kind of looking at it I thought I need another strand so I ended up getting one more because what I thought would be perfect is actually be beautiful as a bracelet so something like this so I haven't decided specifically what to do but I was thinking some sort of wire work so kind of make links with them so they sit almost like this but with wire work and then obviously I almost need a full strand minus a few so that's why I kind of felt I needed to get another strand to then be able to make the bracelet but also the rings and other things as well that I can think of. So I'm really happy with these and I really really like them and I can't wait to sit and play with them. So these are the first strands that I got from there. So the next strands that I got were these and I got three of them to begin with. So what these are, these are actually black agate and they're coated with a copper coating and this it says it's a copper coating and it is copper but I feel like it's a bit more of a red copper but I still think they are absolutely beautiful um, and it was kind of the same story as with the first strand when I received these I kind of thought I need to get some more so what I ended up doing is getting another two strands so I ended up with five in total because they're long strands and you get a lot on there but just because I really fell for these as well and I really like them I kind of thought I wanted to have quite a few to use for different projects and that and especially if I want to make a bracelet, say just a three strand macrame bracelet or three row macrame bracelet you'll need quite a few, maybe almost a whole strand so a strand can go quickly even though you get a lot on them so I got these as well, like I said five strands of them and they're six millimeter and they're faceted round ones and then to go with these, because they had these on the website but then to go with them, they also had the same gemstones, so the black agate that was coated in copper again, but just in a larger shape or larger size. So again, it's rounds and the faceted, but these are actually 14 millimeters, so really nice and quite big actually. Now I don't use this large beads or stones that often, but um, I do have a few ideas of what to do with it. I think actually this would make a really nice bracelet, like a wraparound bracelet say the five strand wraparound bracelet that I've done previously in a video I think that would be really nice and then with some other colour or other material in there to break it up so you have the larger ones in the middle so again I started out with getting the one strand of this but then I kind of thought there's no harm in having a second one just because you never know it's nice ones that I really want to have in my stash this so I can keep coming back to them just because I really think they're really nice and they'll actually go with so many different things as well because even though it's like, it's quite a, a unique colour, but it will go with so many different things. So these next few strands that I'm going to show you 
all of them I got for a very specific purpose. And the first one is this. So this is a strand of green quartz and they're 8mm rounds, just plain rounds. And I got these with a purpose because I've had an idea of a design in my head for a while and I wanted to get something like this, a nice green colour because what I've been thinking about is like a wire work pendant um, in the shape of like a four leaf clover and then I thought using something like this to give obviously the green colour but then also help with the shape and I've actually already used some of these to make a prototype of that that's why I've already taken some off the strand but still you get quite a lot on here you can see so it's going to be plenty and the prototype I've already made is actually this but it's not 100% how I want it yet but this is just the rough idea of it so this is how I've used them and then I plan on keep working on this and then bring you a tutorial for that but that's the first strand and the next strand that I got is also a strand of quartz but these are blue quartz and they're four millimeter rounds so quite a bit smaller and the reason that I got these were actually because I wanted to make a ring for my mum and uh, her favourite colour is blue and it was her birthday recently so I wanted to make a ring for her with these using these as a favourite colour and actually combined these with copper so instead of using silver like I do most of the time I used a copper wire and it turned out really nice it's actually copper and bright colours like blue or purple that actually go really nicely together it just gives a completely different impression than say silver which silver is still my favourite but I do really like using the copper so as you can see it goes really nicely together so that's the other strand and then the final strand that I got with a very specific purpose was this and this is moss agate so it's agate but with different green tones to them so a nice variety here and they're only two millimeter and that's why they're so small and delicate and the reason that I wanted to get these is first of all the colour because what I want to do is I've had an idea in my head to make like a tree of life but as a ring with wire and obviously the beads that I need to use for that or the gemstones need to be quite small so that's why I then also went for the 2mm in size to make the branches and the leaves and these are actually faceted as well so they give a really nice and beautiful sparkle to them even though they're only 2mm they're still faceted so these are what I'm going to use that for so I have that in mind and I'm going to experiment with making that and then the next thing I got from there was a bunch of different colours of the Esson card so this is what I use for a lot of my tutorials as well so the spools look like this and just in a bunch of different colours because I like having a lot of different options to when I come up with different projects and that so I also like to make the same projects but in different colours as well and these are all the colours that I could get hold of and it's a nice variety here and you can see a lot of them will actually go together so it will look really nice in a lot of the purpley tones or the blue tones to make say a bracelet with that you have a lot of different tones the same one and Jewel Maker is a good place to buy the Esthon card here because it's actually a really good price um, just for the individual spools on the website it is kind of the best price I've seen anywhere and also when they do bundles of them on the show that they do the only problem is they don't have them in stock that often so that's why when I see them I just try and grab them up so I managed to get hold of a nice variety of colours going from black through to different colour tones all the way down to the lighter ones so I can never have too many of these and especially in loads of different colours so I'll certainly be using these for different purposes both macrame, micro macrame and kumihimo as well, I really find them useful for that especially beaded kumihimo and then also featuring them in different tutorials in the future and now the next thing I got is more of a practical thing and it's these and these are just some head pins and they're actually ball end head pins and I got these because obviously I have a bunch of different kind of head pins in that already but the special thing about these is actually that they're really fine so the gauge or wire that's been used to make them is much finer than your usual head pin so obviously that means that they can be used for many more different things that say a regular head pin you wouldn't be able to use it for so say especially for when it comes to gemstones for some they have a really small hole just because of the nature of the gemstone or if the beads are really small and you simply wouldn't be able to get normal sized head pins through them so that's why I thought it would be really handy to have these and it's about a 0.4 to 0.5 mil in the gauge of the wire here so they'll go through most things 
And then the last few things that I got from there is a couple of different things, but they're all meant for the same purpose. And some of that is these. And I've been wanting to do this for quite a while to get into some other mediums like Sutash. So I finally managed to get hold of some. I've not really gotten around to it before, but I've been wanting to do it for a long time. So this is some Sutash cord. It's all made by Beadsmith. And just an array of different colours here. So keeping it in the same tone so they'll all go nicely together. Um, and But then just some different styles as well. So you have some plain ones, some just fully coloured ones. And then you have the two-toned ones, like that. And some of them actually have, have a little bit of a metallic sheen to them. So that's a really nice thing as well. So I got this cord, so I'll be experimenting more and starting to do some Sutash things. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. So finally I'm going to start doing that. And then to go with that, you obviously need a few things. These are the basic things. This is the cord that you need for the Sutash. But I also got some of the other things that kind of you need for it. So that means I've got some beading foundation. I've got one in white and one in black. So it's just these sheets of, it's almost a bit like a felt type material, just a little bit different density I think. But then one in white to large one, and then the black one. Now I did intend, I thought when I bought them, that the black one was the same size, but that's just my own fault, I didn't look properly. But either way I can still use it obviously, it's just for now to begin with. So I got these two as well, because this is what you then use to say, if you're using cabochons, you can glue the caption onto this and then sew through this. So when you're doing the soutage as well and using the cord. And I thought I wanted to make sure I got one of each colour because with some things, some colours of the cord or whatever materials that you're using, the white will be better but some other ones the black will be better. So I wanted to make sure that I had one of each. And then as the last thing, again to go with all this, I got some of these and this is actually called Ultra Suede. And this again is the backing for soutage but this is what you use right at the end to cover everything up. So you use this to create your piece and then you use this to cover up the back so it becomes nice and neat. And again a black and a white just to match. So whatever other materials and colours that I'm using, I can choose whichever one will go for best. So I'm very much looking forward to starting to work with this. Something new that I'm going to try and work with. And I've already been working on ideas in my head of what to do in that. Um, to try different things and different designs. So hopefully I'm going to be experimenting with that and then bringing you some designs as well in some future tutorials. So that's it for this haul. So I really hope that you did enjoy this. And like I said in the beginning, I'm going to put a link in the description box to take you to the website. So you can go and have a look if you want. And also I'm going to put the code in there. So if you're a first time customer, after your first order, you can get £10 credit on your account. And like I said, that's always a nice added bonus. Who doesn't want something for free? So I really hope that you enjoyed this. And then thank you very much for watching. Hello there everyone. Today I want to show you how to make some micro macrame diamond shaped earrings. And this is what they look like. So you have your earring. And then this diamond shape created with micro macrame technique. And this one I just made just with cord and all the same colour. Well thread actually. 